Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. Today's video is no other than a Switch Out Saturday with DJ King video. And so today I am bringing to you the bag that I have been in. And it is one that I can also consider um, bags with tags because it was my first time carrying her. And this is the Dooney and Burke Side Pocket Hobo. And so this bag here, it is in that my favorite color red and it's in red florentine which i also love and y'all this bag is it, it was a excellent carry and i know we say that a lot of times about bags but it's like when you carry the bag and it just feels right like everything is just perfect on it that's how this bag was it has like an automatic smile to it it has the perfect strap perfect size comfortable everything fits no complaints just loved it <laughs> and so part of the reason why sometimes we do say we need to carry our bags sooner as we like after we purchase a bag so that you can gauge if you love it and want to get another one while it's still available but a lot of times me i'll be honest no no shame there'll be a bag that i see love it and then I'll go ahead and get it just so I know I can go ahead and have it already in my collection. And then when I choose to decide to carry it, it, it could possibly be weeks, months later before I end up carrying it. And so, because you know, you have other stuff, you go to reach for it and it's like, no, I think I want to carry this. And we have the right to change our mind when we do that because we have so many options. So, <laughs> but this baby here, absolutely love it. And I know a lot of us that have Dooney and Burke handbags, some bags, we always say how they have a smile. So this is how this bag looks with a smile with everything in it. And I'll show you how it looks with everything out of it. But to show you some of the outside features before we get into the inside, it, let me see, this is how essentially it would look if it wasn't like sunken down in the middle for the complete smile. <laughs> But y'all, I mean, it it was a favorite, a definite favorite of mine. I'm trying to get you so you can see the the strap there. And then here is the, the bag. Let me get that. Okay. So it is red Florentine leather. It is smooth in some areas, and we will say an aged leather in other areas <laughs> so did not bother me what so bit because the bag was just gorgeous so you get these two tassels here on your zipper pull let me bring you a little closer so the two tassels here on the zipper pull and this is what the bag looks like zipped and as far as the Florentine leather if you don't have anything in red the red is absolutely beautiful. It is a true, a true red. And it does patina and the red looks a little different. And I know some don't like the way red looks when it patinas, but it doesn't bother me. I love it. I love a well-aged looking bag. <laughs> but the two zipper, um, two tassels here and on the inside there is that, uh, the green suede there. And then the strap is this strap here and I'm, it's not detachable and it's not adjustable. So it has the one grommet here and y'all know the grommets, you know, they, they're struggle if you are trying to adjust them, but this one is not adjustable. Very double. I guess I'll say like double layered for the most part. So you can see it has the two different, let me see if I can turn this a different way. Here we go. So you see how it has like the, it's double layered there and look at the stitching and here's the grommet up close. And on the back side of the strap, it's the same red Florentine. Here is up close of the zipper and you see the smile is already smiling back at me. So the bag was even happy. <laughs> you do get a side pocket here, hence the name side pocket hobo, another side pocket there. 
So a side pocket on both sides. And here is your leather Florentine Dooney and Burke logo patch. And it has the stitching on it as well. Bring that up a little. There's that. And you can see the the leather on this bag. So it's it's aged. <laughs> and here's all the texture. And on the back side, there is no pocket. Move your back. Okay. So there is no pocket on the back. I do have some love marks here. This is probably where I scratched it up against something and then looks like a little light area there. And so the side, you do have like these side corner pieces with the hint of the gray, I mean the gray, the green suede peeking through there on the sides. There is some leather piping there along the pockets. And the stitching is like absolutely perfect. And so the only piece that I added to this bag, which I totally didn't even have to add anything, was just my little coach cherry charm that I got from the outlet. And I'm going to take it off so we can get into the bag. But it's the cherry charm that has been at the outlet like forever. And so I just decided to use it. And the funny thing about this one, I can put it up against pink and I feel like it pulls like the pink, pinkish red, like strawberry color. Put it up against the red and it, it goes red. So absolutely love it. But it has the C's on the inside there. If you can see, like the little sparkle there, that's the C's inside of the cherries. So that was literally the only thing that I added to the bag. Totally could carry it without any anything added to it and so you can see the aging of the leather on the bag in this picture here so absolute light right in here and the back is more smoother actually but like I said it did not matter to me whatsoever so I'm going to start by showing the outside pockets they are small side pockets meaning Depending on how much is in your bag, the pocket can be kind of tight. But I just had my Champagne Toast Bath and Body Lotion in there. And this is how deep my hand goes into the bag. So about right there. And I have my work phone in there, but I'll show you. But as far as the lotion, stuff that I easily reach for is just what I had in there. So that was there. On this side, I just had my tissues. So if you have these tissues, the flat pack, they will fit, you know, down in there and snaps fine. So little small, simple stuff, you know, easy, reachable stuff that you might use. So now to the interior of the bag. This is everything that I had in mind. The same usual stuff that I normally carry. I do have a smaller wallet in here because I wasn't sure if I wanted a small wallet. I didn't know if it was going to be like floating around in the bag or if I needed a bigger wallet. But I went with the smaller one and it totally worked out just fine. So now to show you what's in the bag. Let's see. I'm trying not to get it look so dark for you all. It's like it's, it's not dark outside, but you know how the sun changes and stuff whatnot earlier now <laughs> so you do get your two pockets here so in here i have a extra champagne toast lotion i have my icebreaker mints which are empty so i can throw that away i have my dunienberg coin purse in the red safiano and i have the florentine one and this one, I just picked it up first because I was like, at this point, red was red. And I totally could have used the Florentine one, but I just went with this one. And so this here, it was what it was, a coin purse. <laughs> so that was in there. And then I just added my gold, um, the Walmart, uh, what do you call these? The lipstick bow cases that some of us picked up from Walmart. So... 
you know, I don't wear lipstick. So I probably will change mine out and put some lip balm in there. And I just chose the gold one just to red and gold. Essentially, that's all that was. <laughs> and in this other pocket over here is just my flashlight, the famous Dollar Tree flashlight. And that's all that I had in those pockets. And then on the opposite side, you know, there's the slip pocket. So I have my weekly planner in there. And here is my work phone. And to show you in the side pockets, this is an older work phone, iPhone, of course. But it fits in there, but it doesn't go all the way in there. So it will stand up like that. Some people that won't bother, but to me, I was like, it was not that serious for me to need my phone on the outside to have it sticking up like that. So I just kept it inside of my purse, but it does fit down in there. And then back to the interior, we have a random receipt. Try not to get this so dark. Um, so that was the slip pocket here. And then, you know, you get the zipper pocket here in the back. In that zipper pocket, I have my pocket agenda, which is my checkbook, the registration card. And here is the tags from the bag. And here it says the side pocket hobo in the color red. So that was all in that zipper pocket, I believe. Then this here, I have my, um, what do you call this? Let me stand this up. This was part of a trio pouch from American Eagle, I want to say. And I just chose to use it. It was, you know, this tartan print, which I feel is very holiday-ish. And so just to bring the red, blues, greens, and yellows together. And this was my tech pouch. And this, it feels waxy to me, but like I say, it's from, I want to say it was American Eagle. So I just have my cords in here, charger cords, headphones, and stuff like that. The stuff that, you know, I don't want tangled all up in my purse, even though it's tangled up in that pouch. <laughs> then... Y'all, I chose to use this. <laughs> this is the Victoria's Secret pouch that I purchased after seeing Momo's Beauty use hers in her long chomp bag. And it is the Victoria's Secret pouch. And I used it as somewhat as a catch-all, I guess, organizer in this purse. Instead of using two slash maybe three other pouches. So it comes with these two front pockets. In the first one, here is my Lysol spray, my Juvia's Place, my inhaler, and that's all in that one. Over here, instead of my Nolita, I had my medicine pouch, which is empty. And I had a NYX, um, NYX gloss in there. So it must be in my jacket pocket. And so that eliminated my Nolita as my medicine pouch and then another pouch which would have had some of the cosmetic stuff in it here's the victoria's secret symbol and it's the black quilting on the front and here is everything else that would have been in a different pouch so since it is colder out now i put my vaseline all over body balm stick to put on my son's face in the morning it's either this or a cocoa butter stick so i had this one and this, I believe I got from Target. It truly is what it says. It's just a roll-up Vaseline stick. And it just says healing jelly all over body balm. But it's just a Vaseline stick. So I put that on there. And so, like I said, I think I got it from Target. Then, a random receipt. Loose cough drop. Um... Back here, here is the toilet seat covers from Timu, yeah, Timu, some feminine wipes and CVS coupons after getting prescription refills before the holidays, my pack of cough drops that you know I keep cough drops year-round in my purse, um, 
the same little smile mirror, a um, first aid pouch, which I just stick in every purse, a feminine product, some loose cough drop wrappers, and a eyeliner pencil. Here is all my gift cards. I stuck them in here so that I would have them with me since it is holiday time. Here is my clover honey, and I need to throw this away because I think I have an allergy to it now. I put it on my lips, and then it's like my around my lips have started itching, so I need to throw that away. And then down in the very bottom is my fingernail clipper that is one of the two that comes from the Dollar Tree. So you get the little mesh packs, pet mesh slip pockets back here in the back. And on the opposite side, opposite side no other organization so all that was in there it has a little bitty butt to it so it fit perfectly in there did not take up a lot of space it conforms to whatever size soft worked out really well then here is the what we call the mo wallet <laughs> on youtube and this is in red florentine this is the smoothest piece of red florentine that i probably have in my collection this wallet here is in the color red as well. And the little logo plate has also started to patina as the patch on the back has. But that essentially was my, my wallet. It worked out. I didn't know if this bag was going to be too big for such a small wallet, but it totally worked out. So it has a slip pocket here and I have a card there. You have a zipper compartment here that you could put coins or whatever in, but y'all know I had my coin purse. And I don't know if my cards are turned on. Well, for the most part here. So it opens up like that. And I have some cash in this little compartment there. So totally worked out. And I have three cards, I believe, in each section in there. Some maybe just two. But it worked out. Held everything. Then I had this because we had a game. Tuesday, I've had practice, I believe, every day. Wednesday was the only day I did not have practice or game. But one day I picked this up because I didn't take my whole purse into the game with me. And so I just grabbed my little um, Louis Vuitton Recto Versa in signature print. And I had my, of course, my driver's license and my debit and credit cards in here to use for inside the game and of course to get nachos and other snacks that we probably didn't need to buy while we're in there but we always do <laughs> so i got everything and i put it in here and then that's just receipts from the concession stands so i love this little thing it fits right into my pocket no issues with it zips around my cards were on the inside receipt there and so i just kept this because i still had some receipts in here and I just threw it back in my purse. So, of course, it's small, compact, doesn't take up a lot of space. So, I absolutely love that. And another feminine product. Then I have my Tic Tac Naughty and Nice Mint, which are getting, they're getting low. And so, I probably won't repurchase them. I'll pick up another holiday mint that's out. And then down in here, I have a headband that I had on my head. I still have this coin purse in here in the olive um, olive green wrappers. I have a pen. I had a puzzle book in here. And y'all, somebody at work got me this. I was telling her, I said, I need to get me one of those little Starbucks keychains. So, of course, the next day I come to work, she had me one. <laughs> and it's the little Starbucks cold cup ornament keychain and i'm probably just going to keep it in this because i all i have always wanted one and most of the time when i think to go look for them they're already sold out but this is too cute and so let me see if i can open it to show you what it looks like but i've seen these on youtube in various colors i know um they have gold and silver ones but I wasn't expecting it from her so whatever color she got me i was appreciative either way but she knew my favorite color was red so 
and it truly is a I think it's stuck down to the where they, at. they have it stuck on the box with the glue yeah so it is just a little Starbucks cup that is in the small enough size to hang as an ornament I'm not putting this on my tree because my kids will take it <laughs> isn't that cute and it has a little straw and there's a straw <laughs> so I just thought I just always wanted one of these so now I have one it's in my favorite color <laughs> And I believe it says, it does have the Starbucks on the front there, in the little circle. That's too cute. So now I have one, but I mean, I've seen people use them as bag charms on the bag, but I'm not putting mine on my bag, but you can see the size of it there. But yes, that's just too cute. <laughs> and then moving right along... I believe we're down to the wire. It's just little pieces of paper. Of course, it comes with a key keeper. And that's all I have in there. So the same setup, slip and a zip. And there is the logo patch there. And then the opposite side, there's your two slip pockets. And so this is what I say how it looks without anything in the bag. It stands more straight up like a hobo style. But once you fill it up, it's like it just goes down to see just look at how easy that smile was so I absolutely love this bag absolutely love it so I am so glad that I purchased it so glad that I popped the tags off of it as well and so just wanted to come share this one with you all for my switch out Saturdays with DJ King and so let me pull up everything back in front of here so I probably will be in red for most of December, which will be easy for me since it's my color. But just in case I choose to switch it up. So see, even this here, like the, the Christmas or holiday colors in here, then there was the green. But even if I didn't, I just had that together there. And then... And I had my little red Safiano corner case there. So that was the whole thing. But then this ended up in the mix. <laughs> and then this ended up in the mix. And so none of that goes together. But as the week went on, stuff just got added to the purse. So absolutely enjoyed the carry. And I could see if this bag resurfaced. I could see getting it in navy. But I can't remember if the navy had like a pop of red anywhere. Since it's not like a back pocket or anything to show that red around the zipper pull that they normally have. But I don't know. I can't remember. But I absolutely love the one that I have. And I'm glad that I got my favorite color first. And again, this is the Dooney and Burke. Soft, I mean, Dooney and Burke side pocket hobo in red Florentine leather. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope everyone is enjoying the month of December thus far and hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.